Oh uh, yeah, it's getting pretty toasty out there. It feels like summer and at times we see the occasional thunderstorm, uh, but the biggest weather hiccup coming in here for tonight, tomorrow and Wednesday. It's going to be quite breezy. Already seen some of that wind out there with winds currently at the northwest at 11 for Pocatello. As we look live here at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam, 92 degrees. In Rexburg, we're at 91. Live look here from our water tower cam. And the winds gustier in the upper valley at 16 miles per hour sustained out of the southwest. We'll have more of those winds into the teens and 20s pressing forward through your Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now we're at 93 degrees at the Idaho Falls Airport. Same for Twin, 94 for Boise and 85 for Montpelier with 82 currently in Island Park and 90 in Chalice. A few thunderstorms coming across central Idaho and we've had a few thunderstorms trying to develop in the mountains around Teton County, but nothing substantial at this point. Most of the thunderstorms we've been seeing today have been blowing through Custer and Lemhi County, going off towards Dillon and up towards Missoula. Montana, so a few thunderstorms in the neighborhood, but we're really not taking a direct hit or seeing a lot of thunderstorm development locally. High pressure still very much in command of the weather throughout the west, delivering that record breaking heat for the desert southwest of the Four Corners region. We're not expected to smash records here locally, but we definitely pick up on this heat as we move forward through the rest of this week. An area of low pressure is moving across Seattle. That's going to be in northern Idaho and parts of Montana for tomorrow and Wednesday and that's helping to drive in the wind. Now later tonight, the winds are expected to calm back down, but I want to show you the winds are expected to increase tomorrow afternoon. Wind speeds tomorrow morning fairly light, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But once we get past lunch tomorrow, we're going to have those southwesterly winds coming at us into the teens and 20s with gusts around 20 to 30 miles per hour. A check of the Viper Cache showing us a few of these thunderstorms tonight. In places like Island Park and coming over the Montana state line near West Yellowstone, and we might even get a few late night thunderstorms over places like Teton County and Fremont County later tonight. But tomorrow morning, it's going to be pretty quiet. Nice sunny start to the day. The winds will pick up a few isolated thunderstorms in southern and southeastern Idaho tomorrow. But the risk for thunderstorms very low for Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, more of the same. Highs approaching the low 90s. A couple thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon for mountains near the Montana state line. Normal highs for Idaho Falls this time of the year would be in the mid 80s. And we're beginning to be just a few notches above that, about 80 to 90 degrees for the afternoon high tomorrow. Temperatures elsewhere tomorrow will be in the low 90s for Preston and Malad. We'll be in the mid 80s for Soda Springs and the lower 80s towards Lava with lows tonight back to the 50s. Jackson's at 52 tonight, 58 tonight in Rexburg with highs at 86 tomorrow there and 80 for the expected high in Island Park with the upper 70s in West Yellowstone, Montana. Eight day forecast in Jackson, a breezy at times here for the next few days. Highs in the low 80s and we're still into the 80s for highs for Thursday and Friday with overnight lows back into the 40s. Rexburg, a high of 86 for Wednesday, mid 80s for Thursday, and we're in the upper 80s, low 90s for this weekend in Rexburg. It's going to be hot and sunny both Saturday and Sunday. Moving over to central Idaho, upper 80s for Salmon and Chouse, lower 80s in Mackey and Arco for temps tomorrow afternoon with lows back to the 50s tonight. In your Salmon eight-day forecast, you'll notice temperatures are going to be climbing as we head into the weekend, we're talking highs here around 90 for Saturday. Lots of sunshine here for the rest of this week with some wind tomorrow and highs of 87 and the same for Wednesday. And we'll be in the 90s for this weekend and next week. 90 degrees for Pocatello, 88 for Idaho Falls. So just a few degrees off from Pocatello, but still looking at some hot temperatures here as we head through the rest of this work week on into the weekend. I had a Blackfoot high of 90 degrees for Wednesday, 87 for Thursday, 90s this weekend. Pocatello, 93 degrees for Wednesday. Wednesday temperatures dropped ever so slightly for Thursday. We're right back into those mid to upper 90s for Saturday and Sunday. Pulling in the heat, it looks like it's going to get really hot around here for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. Idaho Falls, a high of 89 degrees for Wednesday. We're in the upper 80s for Thursday and Friday with lows back to the mid 50s. Then we're bringing in some heat Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Towards the end of the eight day, we'll have numbers well into the low to mid 90s with overnight lows close to 60 degrees. Todd, we're going to send back over to you. All right, Mike, thanks. Consumer news now. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose today as Wall Street tried to recover from a losing week last week. The positive reversal came as investors prepared for a slate of inflation data later this week and brace for the start of the second quarter earnings. The Dow is up 210 points. The Nasdaq gains 25 and the S&P adds 11 points.